Hi friends, I am Saurav Kumar and welcome to Teko TV Phone Show. In this video, we are going to run a series of benchmarking tests to find out the raw power of Galaxy Grand Quattro. So let's start with the boot time. It takes about 39 seconds for the handset to boot. Add couple of more seconds for the networks to register on the both SIM cards. As you can see, it's now showing both the networks. Now before launching benchmarking apps, let me make sure none of the apps are running. I have even cleared RAM as well. Now the benchmarking starts, starting with Quadrant. I'll fast forward benchmarking in this video so that you don't have to wait a lot to see the results as benchmarking does take time at, and it feels boring, really. Surprisingly, it scores 4620 points, just few points falling of HTC One X. Oh my god, that's good. HTC One X was launched last year and also has a quad-core CPU. Now we are proceeding to Antutu benchmark test, which is also comprehensive benchmark test. And so here we have the result. It's 11,162 points. That's impressive. Let's compare it with other popular handset scores from Antutu public database. As you can see, in one of the tests here, it has scored even higher than last year's Samsung flagship that is Galaxy S3. And comparing the score with Galaxy Note, here again Quattro has better scores. To remind you, Note has dual core processor. Okay, now let's compare this with this year's flagship of Samsung that is Galaxy S4. You can see, Galaxy S4 is 2.5 times more powerful as per scores. Well, if we compare the market prices, the difference is the same. I mean, uh, Galaxy S4 is around 25 times expensive than Grand Quattro. Well, well, well. Surprise! Now here we have the Galaxy S3 scoring much higher than Grand Quattro. Well, Antutu benchmarks are highly unreliable. As per my experience, 
if I want to test it run again on this particular handset, it may result in much lower score the next time. So we always take the first Antutu run as the best score on any new handset that we try benchmarking. On Ninamark 2 graphics benchmarking tool, we have a score of 42.8 FPS. That is frame per second. Now, let's try to see the computing power performance of CPU by running Pi benchmark in which we will calculate the value of Pi up to certain digits. This Pi benchmarking is actually done in seconds. In the final score, as you can see, it took 157.5 seconds. Lower is considered better. You can see that even dual core CPU of Galaxy S2 has much better scores, so Grand Quattro scores poor on Pi benchmark. Now the last is for checking multi-touch support. Well, it supports up to 5 fingers multi-touch. And thank you for watching. For any advice, suggestion or query, do leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I am Saurav Kumar, thank you for watching this video.